100 days. We've known about the virus that shall not be named for 100 days. Also, John Prine died. I found a really good article over at The Guardian. It was inspired to do a video that tracked the spread as well as all the times we got bad information or advice from various governments, but it seemed out of character for me. I want these silly videos to be distracting, and me staring at the camera somberly reciting depressing facts would have missed the mark, I think. Anyway, if you want to read the article, I'll link it below. Now back to distraction. This is Old Fitzgerald, one of the best bourbons on earth for the money until they took it off the market. 100 proof and six years old, in the good old days this was 15 bucks a bottle. Hell, a restaurant I used to work at used to keep it in the well. I haven't seen one in the wild for years, but I did see one for sale in the secondary market for $2,000, which is the dumbest f thing I've ever heard. Stop encouraging these people by buying gouge product. Also, great bottle. It screams class. Everything that's going on in the world, no reason not to kill the bottle. Smells great. Smells like bourbon. Not that hot for a bonded. Familiar bourbon notes are there. Vanilla honey. This is a little bit softer. That may be uh, due to the natural evaporation that could happen because the bottle has been mostly empty sitting on a shelf for so long. Or it could be because this is a weeded bourbon. Weeded bourbons use wheat to supplement the mash bill instead of rye, which results in a little bit of a softer flavor. It just means that when this was widely available, it was a cheaper alternative to Maker's Mark and other more notorious weeded bourbons. Accepting that, this is really good. I miss it, frankly. It was great on its own. It was great in cocktails. Evan Williams has a terrific bonded that has kind of taken the place in my life of this, but this is a really good pour. Should have bought more when I had the chance. Heaven Hill did bring old fits back, but all the expressions are age longer, ranging from 9 to 15 years old. Anyway, there's lots of great bonded bourbons on the market. Cozy up with your favorite tonight in case it becomes the next old fits. Stay safe, all the advice of professionals, and throw on some John Prine while I say a sad goodbye to this very good friend.